we all need attention. We all uh, dependent on being seen and heard by others. And I want to speak about a, st a strategy um, how to create attention that um, I found for myself. So um, one strategy to create attention that has been practiced passionately in the internet, where the competition for attention is hard, is uh, being the loudest, creating noise, um, which is clickbaiting in the internet. And um, on a personal level, I tried the strategy and it didn't work for me. I come from a family with dozens of cousins and uncles who are, who are all men's planers and speak a lot. And it was very hard for me to get hurt for a very long time. I tried screaming, I tried to be the loudest, and it didn't work. What did work is asking questions. When I started to ask questions to my cousins, who never listened to me, they finally listened to me, and they, uh, they enjoyed speaking to me for the first time in my life. <laughs> and I loved this. And I wondered why do people are being questions and being questioned. And I think it's because um, it makes them feel um, being in the center of attention of someone else and being, um, being important and um, that your voice and your opinion and skills matter. Whereas on the other side, being the one who asks questions, you direct this other person and you have this whole, whole conversation in your control. And I really enjoyed this after these years of being not um, having no attention. And I started to play around with questions and I tested those questions of binary questions, naive questions, open questions, manipulative questions, and they all have different effects and I loved it. And so I became a bit obsessive about it and um, I couldn't stop anymore. And so I created a machine that generates random questions because people also love to answer random questions. And so I built this machine that is um, supposed to be there, um, which um, is the Sinfang Combinator and it, cre it creates 3,969 random questions. And this, at this point I learned people don't only pay attention to questions, they also pay for questions. And this is how it works. I think only the Germans understand it. But don't worry because uh, they are um, random questions. Um, but they sell like 35,000 times. And um, at this point uh, where I had learned uh, that questions create attention, they sell, I wanted to find out if questions create action. And this is the team which I'm working on with this, on these questions. And we think the dialogue between users and media is not working. And so we want to get back users' voice into the content by asking questions to users. So we visualize opinion and debate and we um, uh, collect the most interesting voices from the internet and we ask users what, what they think about things. And um, so publishers uh, um, embed those tools. Oh no, I think that's the wrong GIF, so you won't see anything. But uh, we ask those questions, um, should go Great Britain leave the, the EU? And um, we collect the most interesting voices and people can vote on it. So with only one editor, whose only job is to create, to, to define questions based on current news, we create a reach of 10 million visits per month just by questions. So questions are really powerful. And um, people also uh, like to answer. So um, the publishers we're working with, they create a user engagement, uh, engagement rate of uh, about 22%. So you have to ask the right questions and people will engage and people will stay. So there are questions that work better than others. And the champion questions are should questions and will questions. Uh, should questions, should Europe close its borders, should VAT be banned, um, create an average engagement rate of 31% and the other one 26 And what is re which is a fun fact that 80% of the users who vote are men. So my mansplaining original experience with my cousins came back to me <laughs> when <laughs> we started bullying those tools. Uh, the fact that questions are powerful is nothing new. Socrates knew users very well, um, and he built his whole philosophy on questions, and he created an enormous reach. And um, all I want to say is that maybe we should focus less on um, giving answers and explaining and commenting things, but more, more on um, asking the right questions. Thank you.